everybody, welcome today to some more Total War Warhammer. Still going with the Empire campaign. Um, I do really want to end this. I'm getting sick of this campaign. I I, I can't lie there. Um, I've been playing off camera a lot of the other races and factions and whatnot, giving them a try. Um, and you know they're all interesting and fun, but oh, just the Empire is really starting to drag me down. I really want to get it done, especially because Hearts of Iron is out tomorrow. Um, so I'm probably going to be playing that a lot, unless it flops like the last, which for the life of me I'm hoping it isn't. Um, I'm pretty upset as well because at the moment it's pretty cold here where I live. Oh, it's not, I mean it's not warm, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with that much. And so I'm wearing a jumper and the reason I'm upset is because the jumper is dry except for the sleeves, more specifically one sleeve is wet and one of those ones where the sleeves actually like you know they're they're tight around your wrist and it's and it's cold and it's really just stressing so you know if that's not a reason to be upset then i don't know what is um this episode we're gonna actually see if we can kill these guys um the problem with me killing them or at least trying to kill them is because of these are uh, all these fast moving units here um, sure I can kill the armies just fine, but then actually killing the army is difficult because I have to chase him down and actually kill off the units. So, we're gonna see if we can at least continue that this episode. See if we can actually kill him for once. We, we're easily able to, our armies just absolutely decimate theirs. There's, there's no reason why we shouldn't win, it's just a matter of actually finishing off the armies, that's the problem. Um, and to take out these guys, I'm gonna just go kill the vampire counts. I don't care if it means I have to raise the cities to the ground, which I probably will just to stop rebellions. Um, I don't care if other people, oh, actually no, we do need to take it over, so we might want to capture them. Hmm. So that's an interesting thought right there. Um, I was gonna say, you know, just burn them to the ground and deal with it later. But then there could be the problem that the dwarves all the dwarven factions to the east, they could colonize them and then we have to attack them anyway, so might as well just take it from the start and just deploy a hero there to help with public order. So that's probably the plan we'll do for that. Then we're gonna go kill Chaos, which is gonna be a goddamn nightmare. So I'm you can understand why I'm pretty sick of this campaign. Um there are a lot of other factions that I wanna play that I wanna record with. I've been playing them off camera just to sort of Fill that void, but aside from that, I'm pretty pretty sick of these guys. Um, with this, we can just march in there. I just charge in there. Um, maybe not deploy the lines so far ahead. Put them to there. Horsemen up in there in the forest. Move the steam tanks to there. Uh, he's just a warrior. I don't think he. Yeah, he's just a warrior. No spells. Um, forgot that these guys are actually artillery and they can fire very far. Run! Ah. Yeah, so many range units. It's really difficult. These are currently hidden, or he is anyway. So, we're just gonna charge them in here. Hopefully, catch them out. And just march our infantry in here. What we have to do. You, you can charge in like that. And, uh, we'll just use our archers to kill all their fast moving range units. So, as you can see, we pretty much just decimate all this here. Do that. Um, pop that as well. Not really needed, but we'll do it anyway. Let's try and actually finish off units. That's, that's the trick here. Fire on them. We'll protect them. Run faster, my archers. There we go. That should about to. They're pretty much broken. There we go. That's exactly what we wanted. Um, get the rest of them to fire upon the leader. Fire on him. Fire on him. Fire on him. Fire on him. It's for uh, infantry units. Everything like that. You. 
Can pull out. Actually, you can help with those chariots. You can recharge at them. That was a pretty devastating spell. Uh, I wouldn't say it's that devastating. It didn't actually end up doing that much damage. Which is good, actually. If it did, then would be in a pickle. So, this is the situation here where we want to go and just hunt down all their units. So, we will get our cavalry to see if we can do that. Um, we do have a lot of this artillery here, which should be able to do a lot of work as well. And we do have our leader to help. To just hunt down all their units. Kill as many squads as possible. Or put it on double speed just to speed it up because there's no real reason to do it on uh, slow mode, I guess. I mean, it's not even slow mode, it's just normal speed. But yeah, there's no reason to do it on normal speed. It's pretty simple actions. Keep chasing you. We'll just get our artillery to stop because too many friendly fire casualties and whatnot. Um, could fire on them, but I'm wary about doing that, because again, I don't want to cause too many self-inflicted casualties. Um, that should be just about all of them. Alright. Hopefully that should actually end their army. But 114 left. If it doesn't, then I'm just going to fight them again and then auto-resolve it. I'm going to try and auto-resolve a few more battles here. I found that auto-resolving is actually pretty decent in this. Um, the AI is good at combat, even just like when you're versing them, so I assume they're good when you auto-resolve it. Um, we'll just execute them. It's still here. So, raise your weapons. I mean, this is huge numbers advantage regardless. Sigma okay. Ooh, new ability. Constant around self. What does it do? Abuse fire damage. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, in terms of actually equipping those banners, I'm not sure. Cave to Oasis is actually really good now because of the fact that we can equip that banner on him and the ore size of it is going to be huge. So, um, a lot of our melee units are going to be doing fire damage, which is really awesome, actually. Uh, you're out of moves. This army here... I think he's fine. Not a little beat up. Who calls? Um, you're doing that. Do we still have our witch hunter around here? Um, he might have been assassinated. I'm not actually too sure. It might also be a good thing, good idea just to go get a new one. You're opening this public order around here, which is exactly what we need. Options going up. Um, what else do we need? An excellent question. Uh, these are two provinces here. They should be pretty well defended. Yeah. And you're just protecting the moots. But he has a pretty Ready. decent garrison. Uh, could we fight this army? Uh, we might be able to. There's a lot of lords, which is a problem. A bit beat up. I'm, I'm not going to risk it. I'm just, I'd rather wait for these other armies to back them up. As for you here, you can stay there. I know we're kind of wasting a bit of money just having that lord sit around there with a pretty useless army. But I'd rather just keep him there and be able to help defend this. Just because of armies such as this, which will keep being a nuisance. Public order's an issue. Can't quite upgrade that because we don't have enough money. I think we want to do. Yeah, because the public order around there is pretty bad. Okay. In the turn there, Wisson lands. Right. I you still got damage buildings? Yeah. Never bothered to fix those. <laughs> um, as for you, walls would be good in Wissenberg, but not necessary. You will replenish naturally, but hopefully by the time they get over to the vampire counts, they will be just about blue repaired. Uh, right, we needed that money to colonize that. So I have to do nothing for now. I didn't actually realize we had this army up here. I was not aware. Yeah, so I've been playing a lot of the, uh, what are they called? Uh, Warriors of Chaos off camera. They're a lot of fun. Hard. I'm, I'm really not very good at them at all. From but they're, they're fun. Defensive alliance with you. Yep, that's fine. 
The more allies, the better. One thing I did notice is that the Boys of Chaos have actually got... Welcome, oldest. Um, if I can show it off a bit later. That's fine. Just getting as much allies as possible is really good because they're all going to help against the Boys of Chaos. Greetings. All you Water Princes, trade agreements, absolutely. That give me a bunch of money for it as well. I have no idea who those guys are. Never seen them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Vampire Counts actually siege one of our buildings. Or one of our settlements. Which is kind of annoying. Sal? I'm trying to remember what all these are. Plans are called because. No, that's yawning. Ah, oh, of course he just goes around and. We won that? Holy crap. We actually won that? I was not expecting that at all. Holy crap. Ready. I was really lucky, actually. I was really lucky. Because they could have easily burned that to the ground and then it would have been a, a real nuisance to put back up again. So, Alright, we've destroyed them. The Thank god. They were a nuisance. The you can be leveled up. Um, I don't know what we want for you. Anything that helps with like public order? A lot of these are aggressive. Um, Aggressive campaign thing, so it's always when you deploy it in an enemy province. I guess that could just be the actual uh, leader himself. Um, we do not we do have enough money. We can go colonize this. I think that's worthwhile doing. For the best. Especially now because we own the whole province, so we can actually institute a commandment there. Get that. For the commandment, we'll just get rid of corruption for now. Or at least just lower it. And then we can get... Here we'll get the public order tavern thingamajig. Actually, we're building a Shrine of Sigma there. That's pretty good. Um, so we do own that. Um, we do have the effects of the last confederation for two more turns. So we can't do that just yet. You are lowering our income. So you're an asshole, basically. Good off here. Anything that's going to help with public order? Because that's all we need in this province now. Really upset. Events, corruption, province instability. So that will go down eventually, but until then. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, I also got to turn off my heater. White, so. Right in here. Okay, we'll give you that. What are your chances of assassinating him? 16. Ah, he failed. It was worth a shot. I, yeah, I don't know where our witch hunter went off to. Yes, my lord. Um, with the garrison of the moot, which is quite large, we can win this battle. Yeah, we can win this battle. I think we could have won it without the garrison, but having that garrison there with us is really useful. They got, we've got a lot of range units here, so that should be all we need. Um, we've got a lot of knights to deal with their horsemen and chariots, which is good. And I think they don't have a lot of uh, good infantry. Uh, these Grave Guard and uh, I don't remember the name of them. Yeah, I don't remember all the names of all these units, but um, we should be able to beat them up pretty easily with our units. So ours are well upgraded. I can't tell if... Is that bronze or gold? It's really hard to tell. Right, so, we'll organize these guys to just sit there. To include them. They're just going to hold the line there. We're going to have our massive array of archers. Go there, and... We're going to have two flanks of cavalry. Because that's... We're going to need both flanks. We'll sit them on either side. Start the battle. Reinforcements are coming from an inopportune angle, I will say. Um, but they're reinforcements nonetheless. They are charging at our main army, which is fine. 
Um, we should just be able to do a bunch of damage with our range units before they do anything to us. As for all these armies here, they're going to come up to this hill. That will be the best spot for them. Um, there's a lot of units now. It gets quite confusing. Put those guys to there. Get these archers. Let's control six. These guys. Do seven. Oh, my fingers aren't big enough to reach all points of the keyboard. Doesn't have they got my mic in the way. So yeah, it's really made a lot of things difficult to type with. What is the range of our archers here? Yeah, it's not bad, but it's not really great either. Um, chariots and shot covering on that side. Same thing there. Long binding. You've got a spell on you. Alicia's HP. So he's used that early, which is good for us. This is just missile cavalry, so we can go harass them. Range of the artillery isn't quite long enough. They, they'll be able to just sort of nuke them from behind. That'll be the plan there. That cavalry is breaking off, which is not exactly what we want, but it's good. It's useful. It would have been nice to have the cavalry in this army here, because they would have been able to do massive amounts of damage to that flank. They're on skirmish. We'll get our archers to fire on them. We have a spell on them. I do believe that's probably just the invocation of Nevek. Army. No, Black Knights aren't even taking that much damage. They are armoured, so that's probably why. These archers just fire up on the infantry. That's all we need them to do. I do want to keep a close eye on that army. These two should be able to just kite them out forever. Uh, these are these swordsmen we're going to bring up to the rear here. Same with the archers. Artillery is quite slow moving. As expected, it is artillery. Oh my god. You deal with that chariot. Okay. Um, yeah, all of these zombies and stuff, they're going to break pretty easily. The War of Priest is being beaten up by that uh, war chariot. Well, these guys will get to charge in here. A lot of infantry heading over there as well, so that should be enough to break them. We're going to have our archers fire upon their leaders here. Just to hopefully break them. Uh, this cavalry is anti-infantry, so let's get our Empire Knights to help with those black coaches. Um, these armies are coming in. They're getting there eventually. They can just charge in there. Um, I'm aware you can take friendly friendly fire, but these Empire Knights do need a hand. You should be able to take him down. Yeah, he's, he's basically broken anyway, so that should be all we need. You're helping with that black coach. Um, you, you need to help out over there. Uh, this leader isn't very good. We don't have another one to spare. Yeah, what level is he? I'm not actually sure. He doesn't have any skills, so I assume he doesn't actually have a level. M to fire in there. Wow, all those units went flying. Um, get the whole five group to attack there. Then Pionats keep harassing those black coaches. They're taking... um. A lot of fire from being. Oh no, that's not all. Group six. Uh, they're crumbling because of the lack of morale. We have basically got the rest of these armies here. All those infantry charging in here should be all that we need. Um, these guys. Oh, they got caught out pretty badly. Yeah, so they're running. Um, that's fine. They were way out of the battle, so that's all we needed them to do. These black coaches are really difficult to deal with, actually. Um, these archers are going to get beat up quite a bit. But, now that we've got the rest of our units here, it should be a pretty easy battle. Let's have our Empire Knights. 
They're gonna deal with those black coaches. They are anti infantry, cause terror armor piercing. They're difficult to deal with, they're quite hard. But uh, once we get that extra cab unit in there, should be enough to take him down. And kill uh, Heimlich here. And that'll be enough. Oh, he's, yeah, he's disintegrating, so he's pretty badly beat up. Uh, let's get our Empire Knights. Oh, we're done. Okay. That should be all of them dead because they're all, yep, they're all dead. So that was pretty good. Um, we are going to let this army regenerate just for a bit. So I, I think that is all of the Vampire Count's armies. Just all right there. They might have another one sitting at the capital with Manfred, who is their faction leader. Um, but even, even if they did, then it's, it's going to die anyway. Though I do want to clean up that army, so... Let's get out there. We'll just sort of resolve it because we know it's going to be a victory. And, uh. There you go. Got a bunch of followers, which is pretty good. And level him up. Um. Get inspiring presence. Hold the line. Two skills he can get. As for you. More influential stuff is good. Never have enough influence. Um. What's the. Guys and Lackens Horsemen. Absolutely nothing. Let's take that back right now. Want to resolve it because it's a really small battle. There's no point wasting time with it. I, I do want to end this campaign pretty soon, so. We'll occupy it. Ooh, Armor of Fortune. There we go. We're starting to level up a bit. He's getting a bit better. Um, we'll get Root March up. It's useful. Um, commandment around here. We're definitely going to reduce corruption. Sportsman is basically use useless. We're getting more money now because of it, which is good. This army is out of moves. As are you. Um, corruption around here is... What's... We are reducing it. Um, we do have a Shrine of Sigma, so... That's fine, that will reduce it enough. Um, is there anyone else? Well, no, we can't confederate anyone else at the moment because we're still waiting for that to disappear. Um, aside from that, get more income. Well, we've got the money to spend, might as well. And yeah, there we go, we'll end the turn there. And we'll probably end the episode there as well. But about 20 minutes or so. That's try to, That's why I try to leave my videos. If it goes longer, then that's fine. You always watch it on two times speed as well. I sound better on two times speed. But I mean, I, I watch all my videos as well. Not all of them, obviously, because I know what happens, so it's kind of no point. But, um, should have got a few assassinates, my lord. I am going to be one salty motherfucker. But, yeah, they got that guy. The giant Sigma. bird man. I tried to kill him in my Chaos campaign. I got absolutely fucked on by him. Um, he's a scary bird man. He will fuck up your day. Um, yeah, no, because I, I, I like watch this hard to make sure everything is good with the recordings. And I sound so much better on two times speed. And yeah, we'll actually end the video on the start of my turn. I have a really bad habit of doing that. I, it's been a while since I played any of these strategy games. I played the first one way back when when it came out, but aside from that, I, I never played Shogun or Rome 2. Wasn't too interested. Shogun looks really good. My brother plays it a lot, but that game looks really well fleshed out. I think Creative Assembly and whoever else makes this game, I'm not sure who. Um, they've been doing a really good job. Ah, Arch Lecter's back. Um, naturally, we are going to have to re. Um, what? Middenheim. By who? Yeah, we're not fighting that army. <laughs> not, not yet, anyway. The corruption's going down, which is good. Um, oh, that's what I want. Um, right, we'll just end the video there, so... Whatever my point was, I'm sure it wasn't that important, so... If it was, I'll continue it anyway, so... Enjoy the video, like, comment, yada yada, you guys know the deal, and I'll see you guys next time.